Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to float Android keyboard. That's right, you can actually float the key the keyboard you use to send texts or comment on, on your TikToks or your Instagram. It's actually, this will show you how you actually make, you can move the keyboard around instead of having just stuck at the bottom as default. I'm going to show you how to do this in this video, but before we get going, please hit the like on this video. It helps out our channel. Plus hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos we come out with. So let's get started on this. So how do you float that Android keyboard? First thing, we want to open any app that uses the messenger area, which will bring the keyboard up. I use TikTok a lot, so I'm going to go there. And then when you get in your TikTok, you're going to go... You probably already know this. If you want to make a comment like here, the comment thing, just as long as you get the keyboard to pop up, so you're going to tap down in the comments, and this is going to bring that keyboard. This is the keyboard you're looking for. You can do this in Messenger. You can do this in a lot of apps, but this is where I'm going to show you through here. So right here, as you can see, we have our keyboard. It's stationary. It's default to the bottom, so we want to move it. So you hit the three dots right here at the top right. You're going to tap those three dots, and it's going to give you this menu. This menu actually has floating. Pretty simple, huh? So you tap on floating, and now if I tap down here, now my keyboard, I can hold my finger down on this little tiny, I guess, crosshairs at the bottom, and you can move it to anywhere you desire to have your keyboard so you can actually type and not have it in the way. So like if you're doing your password on something and this thing's hovering in the way, that's kind of nice. Now, if you want to put it back, I think you can just drag it back down and do that. You can also, let me float it again. If you're back in here, you can go back up to the three dots, tap it, and then just tap it again and it's off. Now this is different on other phones like my wife's Samsung S22. Um, you have a couple extra steps so when you go into menu it will actually have another spot and actually I'll show you that in this video. I'll, I'll bring her phone out here in a second and show you that. So let's get to her phone. Okay okay guys we're on my wife's um, um, Samsung Galaxy S22 and it's a little different when you're doing the keyboard so I'm gonna go back here real quick because I shouldn't be in there. So go here. So once you're on the keyboard and we're under her messaging um, app, so this is where we're going to do it from. So we got the keyboard up here because we tapped into chat message. And then you want to go to the three dots again, and you're going to click on that. And then it's got um, uh, modes right here. It should be right here. You're going to tap that. It doesn't say f free floating keyboard right here, but you tap on that. And there it is floating keyboard right under there. So you can tap that, and now you can drag this by grabbing the bottom and drag it around anywhere you want. And when, if you want to get rid of it on here, I think you do have to go back to the three dots and then go back to that section. And then you just um, tap standard keyboard again. And that's how you do it on my Motorola Edge, which is the first phone I showed you, and on the Samsung Galaxy S20. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com, uh, where all, all our articles are. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.